ready, Claire? Are you all ready for my college reunion this weekend? Hey, sweetie. Yeah, I can't wait to see all of your old friends. It'll be so fun to hear their stories about what you were like in college and what you got up to. <laughs> well, I'm just warning you now. Don't be too shocked by what you might find out. Oh, a bit of a rebel, were you? Or were you more of a heartbreaker? LOL. Ah, so you were both. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, my dad was much worse than me. You should count yourself lucky that you ended up with a level-headed one. So lucky. Anyway, what was your mom like in college? She was a good one. Always made sure to do her homework and projects on time and never really went too crazy at parties. Haha. <laughs> She sounds just like the person your dad needed to keep him in check. Your mom and dad met at college, didn't they? Yeah, they're both Harvard alumni, which is why my brother and I both decided to study there too. That's really sweet, to be honest. It just makes you feel closer as a family to go through the same college. Yeah, it's nice knowing that my mom and dad went there. It makes me feel a little proud to be their son, I guess, because of how smart they both are. Also gives me hope that I'm not a complete lost cause in the brains department either, lol. What about your parents? Did they meet at college or did they not go to the same one? Oh, actually my parents didn't go to college. They met whilst out with some colleagues at their first job. What? Yeah, it was a little bar in town. My dad was working as a busboy in a restaurant at the time and my mom worked in her family bakery. They both went out with some friends and ended up bumping into each other at the bar. The rest is history. No, 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 I meant the college thing. Neither of them went to college? Well, no. Neither of their families could afford it at the time. I mean, just look at how much our loans are for it now. Back then, when there was hardly any help in terms of loans and grants, it would have been impossible for them to go. They don't mind, though. I mean, they never would have met each other if, if either one of them had been at college. And then I wouldn't have come along, lol. And you would have been devastated then. Uh-huh. What's wrong? I just can't believe you're so proud to come from such an uneducated background. Whoa, hang on a second. My family is not uneducated. Why would you even say something so horrible and mean? Well, it's just the truth. If your parents were smart, then they would have gone to college to get a degree so that they could work better jobs as opposed to whatever menial, low-grade work they do now. I mean, let me guess, they're janitors now because they don't have an education in anything. The only thing they're good for is cleaning up after the more intelligent people in the world. Where on earth is all of this coming from? Why are you being so vile? Why didn't you tell me the truth? Truth? What truth? About your parents and them not going to college? I never hid anything. I just never thought you'd be bothered about it. It doesn't even have anything to do with you or us as a couple. Yes, it actually does. How do you figure? I can't be with someone who comes from a family who is too stupid to get into college. I've already told you they're not stupid. They simply couldn't afford the tuition fee. Not everyone is born with a silver spoon in their mouth. If they were smart, they would have found a way to go to college. I mean, they would have tried hard and gotten a scholarship or something. It's not that difficult if you really want it or if you're actually intelligent. So, either your parents are willfully lazy or they're just too stupid to do anything. I actually can't believe what you're saying right now. I don't even want to talk to you at the minute. Same here. I need a bit of time to cool off. Fine. Russell? Where were you last night? You didn't come home. I spend the night at my parents' house. I need a time to think. Time to think about what? Us? What about us? Claire, I can't be with someone who comes from such a low education background. I'm calling off the wedding. I don't want to marry you anymore. What? All because my parents didn't go to college? I'm just not willing to put my reputation through the degradation and embarrassing remarks that everyone will make if they find out that you're from a dim-witted background. Are you being 100% serious right now? Yes, I mean, what if we had children as well? I'd constantly be worried if they'd inherit your family's intelligence and do nothing with their lives. It's just something I'm not willing to risk. Fine, if that's how you feel, then I won't stop you. 
but don't come begging to me when you realize the huge mistake you just made. As if I do that, especially not to someone who's not in my league. Whatever. Goodbye, Russell. Thanks for showing me what kind of man you actually are before I made the mistake of marrying you. Honey, I was just about to say the same thing. Goodbye, Claire. Don't bother trying to message me or beg me to come back to you because I won't. You've just lost your one chance to marry someone rich. Now you're just going to follow in your parents' footsteps and do absolutely nothing with your life. And I'm just glad I won't have to be dragged down with you. Hey Claire, I just heard what Russell's done. I can't believe he did that to you over something so ridiculous. You okay? Hey Jasper. Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, I'm hurt for sure that he would end things over something as simple as my parents' education. But at least I know what he's really like. Better now than after we get married. Yes, but... It still makes me mad. I mean, I knew my brother was tense, but that was just plain spiteful and stupid. Yeah, he wasn't the brightest. Well, did you hear that he's got a new job? It's at some huge restaurant corporation. They manage a bunch of restaurants all over the country, and they also sell industrial kitchen supplies and things. Oh, is that so? Hmm, and oddly enough, the name of this company just so happens to be an old family name, which Sounds just like your mom's. What a coincidence. Anyway, I've got to go now. Good luck with everything. Thanks, Jasper. Hey, Claire, it's been a while. How have you been? I've been great, in case you were wondering. In fact, my new job is going really well. I might even get promoted soon. And I'm getting married. Hey, Russell. Oh wow, you're getting married? That's really quite soon, don't you think? We've only been broken up for like one month. Yeah, well, I've known her longer than that, obviously. I met her a few months back on a business trip. We really hit it off and began talking from then on. Wait, you mean you were talking to this woman whilst we were still dating? Whilst we were actually engaged? Well, I'm glad I kept my options open, given how things with us turned out. Now I've got a proper smart fiance from a proper smart family. Her parents went to Harvard as well, don't you know? Wow. So you actually cheated on me just to be with someone whose parents had a college degree? Well, yeah. And what? You've messaged me now to brag about it? I wouldn't say brag necessarily. Just showing you what you missed out on. You can thank your parents for that. I see. Well, don't you worry. My parents are going to hear all about this and your opinion of them. I'll make sure to tell them. Go ahead and tell them. Not like some lowly, stupid person's opinion is going to matter to me. We'll see. Claire, what have you done? Oh, hi Russell. Messaging twice in one day? Aren't I a lucky gal? Don't play stupid. How could you not tell me that your parents own Blossoms and Peel Limited? Well, why would you need to know about it? You know that's where I'm working. How could you not tell me your parents own the entire thing? I usually don't tell people because I don't want them to see me differently. And for all I knew, if I told you, you could have just stayed with me for my family's money. And then you told me that you didn't want to be related to someone whose parents didn't go to college. So it didn't seem important to tell you then. Wouldn't want to change your mind based on something as silly as my family's success especially considering they didn't go to college. That's not fair. I never would have left you if I had known the truth. Now I've received an email saying that I've been fired. Did you tell your dad to do that? I didn't tell him to do anything. I simply told him everything you told me, all about your opinions on those you deem lesser than yourself. What? I'm sure he explained it all in his email, but just to clarify it for you, he doesn't want someone with such horrible views working for him or representing his company. Not to mention that a lot of your coworkers also complained about your behavior, claiming that you bullied them and said derogatory things all the time. My dad didn't want someone so horrible working for him and dragging his reputation down. For a college-educated guy, you're pretty dumb. You can't just do that. Please, talk to your dad and help me get my job back. I needed to pay for my wedding. Not to mention my fiance told me that she won't settle for her husband earning less than 100 grand a year. Well, you've got a college degree, so getting a well-paying job shouldn't be difficult for you. But... 
I suppose maybe this will teach you not to judge people simply based on their education. People can and do make their way in the world based on their smarts and wits. They don't need a piece of paper to tell them that they are intelligent. I mean, look at you. You've got a college degree and you're one of the dumbest people I know. Sometimes you just can't help stupid. Please, Claire. Goodbye, Russell. Don't message me again. I don't want anything to do with you. After that, I never heard from Russell again. I went on to start my own business from the ground up, helping those in food poverty. As for Russell, the last I heard was that his fiance had left him after he had been fired, claiming that she couldn't be with a poor man. He tried to get a job, but even with his college degree, he didn't last very long at any of the places he was hired.